Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Target try on haul to share with y'all. I found some really cute new arrivals for the summer season. Lots of casual pieces, summer dresses, a couple workwear pieces, and a lot of athleisure. So hopefully you find something you love in today's video. I'll have everything that I share and feature in today's video linked in the description box below. And I'll also save that and pin it to the top comment as well in case you cannot find the description box. But I hope you enjoy today's outfit ideas and let's jump in. Starting off with a casual summer outfit, this American flag sweater has already been a bestseller since I started sharing it over on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there, it is Strawberry Chic XO and that's where you can find fashion ideas and outfits and all of that fun stuff, sale alerts pretty much every single day. The sweater is a lightweight sort of knitted material. It is very oversized as is. I actually sized up to a large intending for this to be kind of slouchy and oversized, but the large is a lot of fabric. So I actually exchanged it for a medium. So I would say it is already a tad oversized as is, so either stick with your normal size or if you want a closer fit, I would size down. This would be really cute to just throw over when you need a little extra layer if you're in the AC during the summer or even like at the pool or something like that and you just want to cover up. I think this American flag sweater is really cute and obviously it works for Memorial weekend, 4th of July coming up, or if you're heading to the beach, it'd be a really nice kind of summer layer for the beach too. I paired it here with some denim cutoffs. These I've had in my wardrobe for years and years. They are a little bit pricier, but they have an amazing fit and quality to them. And they're probably the only denim short that you need in your wardrobe. They have this in a shorter version, which I'm wearing here. And then they also have a longer version if you're looking for more length. I'll link both down below. And if you aren't a fan of the fringe or cutoff look, I'll also link a cleaner short option for you to shop as well if you are on the hunt for some denim shorts for summer. Next up is this floral romper. I feel like this piece is screaming to be worn on vacation if you're heading to the beach or anywhere fun for the summer season. This is a cotton linen sort of blend and it has a really nice roomy, comfy fit. I'm wearing a size small and the shorts are nice and roomy. They don't feel like they're riding up and there is a button to secure the top as well, which I love. There is some elastic in the waistband, at least on the back side, so it's comfortable to sit in. And I feel like this is a good piece that you can wear really casually, look cute with white sneakers and sandals, but it could also be styled up for an elevated like evening look at the beach with a nice sandal and I guess more of an evening bag. To elevate it here, I paired it with this pink clutch, which is actually another Target find. Has like a faux gold chain and it can be worn on the shoulder, kind of carried on your elbow or carried as a clutch. Next up is another casual outfit idea for the summer. These are my favorite types of looks to wear if I'm traveling or on a road trip or just running errands, that type of thing. These joggers come in two colors, I believe. I am wearing a size small. They do have some stretch around the ankle if you wanna pull them up. I just kinda of let them hang loose around the ankle as is, but they do have that stretching at the bottom. These joggers do have a thick waistband, so I find them very smoothing on the hip area. And I paired it here with a t-shirt. I believe they call this kind of a muscle tee because it does have that cutoff look, but it's clean and kind of folded on the shoulder area. And this tee comes in a ton of different colors. It's a really great, Basic, if you're looking for something that's not like a standard basic v-neck type of t-shirt to style, this will give you some variety in your wardrobe. I paired this look with some wavy sandals. These are a look for less to a Sam Edelman sandal. They're really comfortable. I would say they're true to size, but if you are in between, they are a tiny bit small, so you can size up depending on how you prefer your sandals to fit. And then I also paired it with this straw bag from J. Crew, which I feel like is very classic for the summer season. I switched out my bottoms to style this tee with some shorts so you can also see how it looks with that. These shorts are amazing. They're from Spanx. They are such high quality and they have the best fit. They have the pull-on waistband design. They're not too tight in the legs. They have some stretch to the material. They're comfortable to sit in. They don't ride up your hoo-ha like most shorts, let's be honest. They're just comfortable. You cannot beat the price point either for the quality that you're getting. I do also have a Spanx code. I'm sure y'all know it 
off the top of your head by now because I share it all the time because I'm a huge fan of Sphinx, but it is Amanda John X Sphinx for 10% off and free shipping. I also have this tee in this light tan color as well. Like I said, it comes in a ton of color options. And then here I'm wearing it with some white shorts also from Spanx and these I'm wearing a medium. I don't think I mentioned before, but in the olive pair, I went with a small. I would say if you're in between, I'm very much in between sizes at Spanx, usually a medium, but in those I went for a small. And the white stretch twill, I did get a medium, however, because they do sit a little bit lower on the hips. Next up is this striped dress. I feel like this is a great piece again for resort wear. It just sort of has that beachy vibe. I will say without a belt, this dress is very unflattering. It is extremely roomy and just doesn't give you a ton of shape. So I will say adding a belt is a game changer to this dress. Here I just threw on this straw belt, which is one of my favorites to wear during the summer season. It really pulls in the waistline. Honestly, I think because the dress is so roomy and then the belt fits really snug, it almost makes me look a lot smaller than I actually am. At least I feel like that's an illusion I'm getting when I'm wearing this outfit. I do like the hemline. It comes up a little bit shorter on the side. Like I said, it's very roomy. I got a small, but you could easily size down in this one unless you want some extra length. Then I would say get your normal size. Next up is this floral mini dress, and this has a really beautiful fit. If you like the look of I feel like this one kind of reminds me of CB2. It's definitely, or not CB2, that's a home, home store. Oh my gosh, y'all. If it looks like I'm struggling, it's because I have been today. This has just been a day, I'll leave it at that. Having a toddler, test your patience. <laughs> so we are surviving, not thriving over here. So not CB2. What am I thinking of? It's some really cute, girly, feminine brand that I've seen at Nordstrom and I cannot think of it off the top of my head. But it has a really nice kind of corset look to it, almost that milkmaid style dress, which if you are on TikTok, I feel like that's kind of a viral conversation right now that guys are loving sundresses and they love like the milkmaid dresses. And I feel like this is kind of that vibe. It has adjustable straps. I'm wearing a size six. The waistline does drop a tiny bit, so I will say I have to have really good posture in this dress. If I do slouch, it does roll over, which I don't find super flattering, but hey, it's a really nice cue to remind yourself to have good posture so your dress looks good. I also really like the bow tie on the top. It just looks really nice and has some good structure to it. And then it just fits really nicely all the way through the leg as well. Originally, I wanted to style this dress with some Western boots or booties, but mine were just too clunky looking. And then the other ones that I had weren't tall enough. I don't like when there's space between a dress and boots. I'd rather there be some overlap. So maybe I just don't have the right pair, but I do think that would be a really cute look to kind of tie in a little bit of a Western flair. Next up is this blue button down dress. And now depending on where you work, I do think this could be a great workwear piece. It's not gonna work for every office or environment because it is a little bit on the shorter side, but if you're a realtor or something like that, or a hairdresser, this could totally work for you. It reminds me a lot of one I styled a couple months ago from Anthropology at a much friendlier price point. It's a little bit more of a lighter blue, but Overall, a very similar look and vibe to that one. The material is really soft and kind of lightweight, great for summer. The fit through the sleeves are a little bit roomier, so if you prefer a more slim look, this one does have a roomier fit. But I like that fit because it looks nice when you roll up the sleeves and give it a more casual look. It does have full functional buttons in the front, so it's very nursing friendly and the tie waist around the hips is a faux tie detail, so you don't have to worry about this opening up. In this piece, I'm wearing a size small. It is true to size. Next up is this pink athleisure dress. I've actually found quite a few athleisure dresses at Target, so I'll link a couple others that I found down below. I actually just got one in, and I just, I just did not feel like trying on anything else, so I'll have to share that one over on Instagram but I will go ahead and link it because it was really cute. So this tennis dress does have a higher neckline if you prefer that, and it zips up the back. I love that they added a longer string to the zipper, so it's really easy to zip up and get off yourself. And it actually has a little bit of like a sticky material to it to help you really grip it a little bit easier, which I also thought was a nice touch, especially considering the price point. This one does have built-in padding, but I didn't find it super substantial, so I personally did wear a sports bra underneath. 
but just depending on what you're working with, I think the pads can totally do for a lot of people. With the dress here, if you're curious, I paired it with this Walmart cardigan, which has been one of my favorite finds this month. I will link it down below. And if you missed my Walmart haul that I shared last week, I'll also link that for you down below as well. I found some really cute pieces and everything was under 40. In this cardigan, I am wearing a small. If you're curious, I love wearing these sort of grandma styled elevated cropped cardigans with athleisure, probably more so than I like to style them with dresses. I just think it's a really nice way to elevate the look and give it a little more style. Next up are these pleated shorts. I feel like you will either love these or not be a big fan of them. So for one, they are a little bit on the shorter side and they do have a flowier kind of roomy fit through the hips. They're kind of like a runner style short. So they are flowy. So if you're bending over in them and not wanting anything to be seen, you may not like these because they are a little bit roomy and flowy in the booty area. But I do really like the pleated detail. They would be great running shorts. They have a thicker waistband that does really suck you in. I'm wearing a small in these. I tried the medium as well, but the medium just looked way too kind of frumpy and big and they were even roomier so they almost showed more skin in a way which I thought was interesting so if you're in between I would say to size down in these and then I paired it with this black tank which reminds me a lot of the Lululemon Align material it does have that higher neck which I'm a big fan of when it comes to athleisure I just think it looks really chic this one does have a pretty substantial built-in padding and kind of bra so I actually didn't find that I needed to wear a sports bra with this one maybe also because it's a darker color as well I just felt more comfortable not wearing a bra with it I'm wearing a small in the top as well and I do think it comes in maybe four different color options next up is this white tennis skirt which I absolutely love it reminds me a lot of the free people I don't know what they're calling calling them but the free people shorts they have that really thick waistband and this just sucks you all in. It kind of doesn't matter the length of your torso, but I do think if you have a really short torso and you have an issue with shorts causing like a bulge issue on your waistline, these will smooth everything out. I got a small in these. They are shorter, but it does have those built-in shorts and they're just really flowy and cute. And I like that it's a different material than most of my other tennis skirt options. And then I paired it with this athleisure top which I really love the fit on this it's sort of a boxy kind of cropped top I wouldn't say it's super short I definitely had plenty of overlap between the shorts and the top but it just feels really comfortable and I think this is a piece that I would reach for often also comes in a lot of color options I also got a small in this one as well with the skirt you can wear it untucked but i kind of tucked it in just to give me a little bit of shape since the shorts for the skirt is kind of roomy as is next up i have that same skirt on but i switched out my top for this usa sweater which i love i'm so glad that i tried this one it's kind of the same material as the flag sweater in the beginning but this one is more of a cropped style so you don't have to worry about tucking it in or front tucking it or anything like that I got a medium in this one and it fits great. And I love how it's just white and navy. It is more of a warm white, which you can see against the squirt, which is a very bright, pure white, but I think it totally works together. I am hopefully heading to the beach next month. And I think this is a sweater that I would pack along for that trip, just to kind of throw on um, if I need a little layer at night walking on the beach or something like that. Although it's probably gonna be pretty warm down there, but I am just always cold and I like to have like a cozy little layering piece. Although I will say when I took the photos of this, it kind of switched since it's backwards. And so it says ASU. So I don't think my husband would approve of it if he saw the picture of this because he went to Arizona State. But it does say USA. Hopefully it's showing up correctly on camera. Next up is this black tennis dress. This one also comes in white as well. And it has this sporty little waistband, which I think is really cute. I love the pleated skirt detail, and this one does have pretty substantial support in the top. I did not have to wear a sports bra with it. I like how it had a close, like tighter fit to it as well. I just felt really comfortable and supportive in it. I got a size small in this dress and it does have the built-in shorts as well. And that's everything that caught my eye at Target recently. I hope you enjoyed today's outfits. Let me know if you have any favorites from today's haul. 
down below and I hope you all are having a really nice Memorial weekend if you're watching this when it first gets uploaded. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later this week with a new video. Bye!